Hey, everybody. Rip City. Why don't we give it up for our very favorite coach, Terry Stotts? <laughs> coach, fresh off your first preseason game up in Vancouver, a city I know you love, against Toronto. Can you kind of give us a few things you took away from that game, some positives that you saw? Well, I thought our offense in the first quarter and a half was really good, uh, probably most of the first half. Uh, so that was really encouraging what we did offensively. Um, you know, defensively, we kind of struggled a little, a little bit throughout the game, but it's kind of be to be expected in preseason. Everyone very excited about some new faces here in Portland. Can you tell us a little bit about Nick, a little bit about Seth, even though they're right over there? <laughs> hey, Nick and Seth, what do you want me to say about you? Anything in particular you want me to say about you? Thumbs up. Okay, Nick, I give thumbs up to Nick. Seth, is there anything you want me to say about you? I don't even see Seth. No, they're, you know what, they're both, uh, I think they both fit in really well with what we do. They're, uh, they're both smart basketball players, excellent shooters. They move well without, without the ball. Um, you know, I think, they, I think they fit our system really well. Do you want your microphone back? If you don't mind, you I know mean, it's not our first rodeo doing this, but that was great. Let's talk about some things that you want to focus on this team as the regular season approaches, both offensively and defensively. Well, defensively, we need to maintain what we did all last year. We were a top 10 defensive team all year last year. Um, it was the reason we had the success we did because that was uh, that was our foundation. Offensively, we found some things the second half of the season. We shot some more threes. We need some more ball movement. We need more passing. And I think uh, we've really locked in on that the first week of practice. Obviously, Blazers fans very knowledgeable, not only about their own team, but about the NBA in general. Can we just for a minute talk about the West and how much they will have improved? Or what do you see there with the West? Well, I think every playoff team is still really good. And I think, uh, you know, Denver missed the playoffs by on the last game of the season. They're a very good team. Obviously, the Lakers got better. There's only eight playoff spots, so it's going to be very competitive. For those of you that didn't know, maybe aren't on social media, CJ and Dame were watching their two favorite NFL teams today, Cleveland and Oakland. Oakland won the game. <laughs> Coach, did you have a horse in that race? Um, kind of, because Baker Mayfield went to Oklahoma. So it, deep down, I was kind of rooting for Baker Mayfield. Does Dame know that? doesn't matter. Oakland won, so it doesn't matter. All right, finally, Coach, I know you know these fans are fantastic. They love their team so much. They love this city. Why is something like this so important for them? Well, you can tell by the turnout. I mean, this is a, this is a great turnout uh, on a Sunday night for the Blazer fans, and I know the players and coaches always enjoy this. Thank you, Coach, so much. Let's have another great season. What do you say? All right. Thank you, everybody.